boys and curls we are back with another video and we are back into the top five but this time it's makeup I wanted to start off with color correcting just because that's the first thing I usually put on my face in terms of makeup I am coming with my top five in skincare but let's go ahead and jump into these color correctors because this is a step that I cannot go without I don't care if it's a no makeup makeup type of day I am color correcting because I have panda bear dark circles everybody has their issues and their imperfections and dark circles and puffy eyes are mine and let me know if you have some recommendations for some puffy things for puffy eyes I do have a few but I do want to pick up some more and test those but we are talking about dark circles today and I am coming with my top five and an honorable mention so let's jump right in the first thing in doing my makeup I always color correct first this is something that I I don't care if I'm going for a natural look I have to color correct you want to make sure that you have an a moisturized under eye not too heavy because your concealer will go on cakey thank the Lord this is thin I use half a pump and I just roll it and I allow like 10 minutes for it to really penetrate and soak in and you can kind of tell so let me show you the steps of color correcting and then show you my favorites okay so there are some full coverage concealers that I can use without color correcting that kind of like works as one but I want to show you the step of the favorites that I do have so I do have two affordable ones and then I have the rest are high-end so the two affordable ones I have are the NYX dark circle concealer corrector and I have the pixie brightening peach correction concealer and this one actually has some luminosity to it. I have not tried the Becca one, but I have swatched it in Sephora and it kind of reminds me of that. But a lot of times I will mix the two. This one I will use, I don't, I can't tell you how many that I've gone through, but these are the affordable ones that I have. Oh, I have one more that's affordable that I just found out about in my Ipsy Glam bag. It is the City Color photo chic dark spot corrector now you can use this one this one reminds me a lot of this one but I still like this one um, a little bit more just because it has more coverage the next one is my favorite affordable one but this one has some luminosity so if you want to actually not only cover or color correct but if you want to brighten that area definitely use this I like to mix the two because I want the coverage and the brightness a lot of times I will go in with kind of like an angle brush just because it gets right into the corner so I'm gonna put, pick up some product on there and I'm just gonna take it around getting something synthetic with this I try not to use the beauty blender because the beauty blender does pick the product back up and because I want full coverage I'm going to use a synthetic brush rather than a rather than a um, beauty blender so see how that brush gets right in there and then I'm gonna go around my mouth a lot of women of color have hyperpigmentation around their mouth so don't be afraid because sometimes you will see that's what they call the like five o'clock shadow it is not cute to have like a goatee so in color correction this is not the not cute part that is the NYX just by itself now I'm gonna go in with the pixie this one's really nice like I said, this one has some luminosity. It's a bit more waxy. The, the NYX is more creamy. So with this one, I'm just gonna put it right in the corner because that's where I want the brightness. Then I'm just gonna take my finger and just blend it because it's gonna warm up the product, but it's not gonna pick up the product like a beauty blender would. So basically what I'm doing is just patting it in. I'll come back and show you guys my favorites once my makeup is done. Okay, so we are back. So I already told you about the Dark Circle Concealer and the Pixie Peach Corrector. So I'm going to show you guys a few more of my 
color correcting favorites I actually have the naked skin this is the color correcting fluid in peach I as you can tell I'm almost out of this I cannot believe how quickly I have fallen in love with this corrector my OG my favorite is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Color Cover Concealer. I like to use the Y, which is the yellow shade, and the R, which is more of the rose shade. I do have a review on this that I will link over here. And then I also have the Makeup Forever. This is the Pro Sculpting Palette. It has a highlight, contour, shimmer, and color. The color is what I use as the color correcting. This one would be ideal for women of color just because the shade is a bit darker. Or you can use the Anastasia. That one I have been trying and I still like this one a bit better but I need to test that one a bit more to see how much I like it. This would be my top five color correctors. Yeah, I do have the, again, the Eve Pearl. I absolutely love that. But these are the ones that I have just like been picking up nonstop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to list down below in the comments what is your favorite dark circle corrector or what do you use to color correct if you have dark circles. Let me know. I would love to know your thoughts. These are just some that I have been loving nonstop. I do have some other favorites, but I just wanted to come with my top five and I did have an honorable mention because I was introduced to a new one. So hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see beautiful you in the next video. Bye, love.